What up boys, it's Daily here and today we're in my apartment and uh, we're gonna be looking at my Lego investments. Now please, don't get me wrong, Lego is not really <laughs> the greatest investment idea. You know, it's really, yeah, I, I, this is not advice or anything like that, but you know, fund your 401k first, <laughs> put some money in the S&P 500, you know, even like, I don't know, crypto could be better. Um, but, you know, if you have some, a little bit of extra money and you care about Lego a lot, that's a big key in this, you know, Lego investing is okay. That's, that's what I strongly believe. It is okay as long as you're into it, you have a passion for Lego investing, and you only have spare money to spend on this. This is what my Lego collection is, is basically, um, my sealed collection that is and i do break these open sometimes when i'm really bored and okay there was an amber alert on my phone that's why that paused really awkwardly um but yes i do break these open and that's a mistake sometimes especially if i'm using these as investments um but they can have really really good returns is something you have to understand so while it is a little bit silly and should not be a main part of your portfolio every once in a while investing in a lego set is okay and i do not hope that you guys go and scalp products and stuff like that when i invest in a lego set i usually buy one or two at a time in a store and make sure there are plenty left for everyone and i certainly do not scalp new products these are long-term investments so just get that straight don't scalp it's really lame and cringe so uh, one of my first investments here is the guardians of the galaxy holiday special advent calendar this was released um what was it last year's calendar 2022 okay yeah um and i just think advent calendars are really nice to invest in they tend to have some pretty exclusive figures though this one doesn't which kind of blows but the reason i bought it was it was on sale for 15 bucks after the holidays and so if i sold it right now it'd probably get me like 40 bucks completely worth it good investment and these tend up to go up to like 100 bucks so you can usually like 2x your investment there this one right here is actually a brand new investment for me, and that's the uh, Tenu Jedi Temple. I got this puppy for $27 at Target. They're still available for that price right now. It's a four plus set, but it's got three unique minifigures. That's a big deal. These minifigures probably are never gonna get reprinted again in this form. So that is why I think this is a solid investment because unique minifigures always sell well. And at $40, it's terrible. That is a terrible price. But at 27, it gets a little bit better. And you'll notice pretty much all of my investments into Lego are purchased when they're at a discount, which is great. And the same is true for this attack on the spider layer. I got this last year. Um, I can't remember how much I bought it for, but I think it was like 30% off on Amazon or something along those lines. I really like this set for an investment because it comes with a ton of different Spider-Man costumes and people love Spider-Man, they love variety, and it's a really great set. So, bada bing. Moving into here. Uh, some of these sets were not intended to be investments and we got a little bit of damage on this one, which sucks. So, I don't remember if that was there before. This was meant for a video I didn't end up needing it, so instead of selling it right away, I decided to hold on to it. And then, like this Super Mario one, I really don't have any interest in building the Super Mario sets. I just don't really care about them. Someone sent this to me as a freebie with a Lego lot on eBay. So, you know, perfect for an investment. See if it goes up, who cares? Zero dollars into that. Um, then we've got this Brickheads, which I actually got at a thrift store. Uh, so it is pretty dinged up, but I got it for like 10 bucks. I think they go for like $20 right now. And uh, yeah, that's a that's a solid pickup right there. Always go for those. Um, I do have like Kenobi's Starfighter right here. I, I think these Starfighters are always fairly popular. It might not be the biggest uptick Lego set. There's not a ton of exclusive figures or anything like that, but might be worth checking out. Um, battle packs. Battle packs, I think, are some of the best ones. They have some low entry fees, you know? This is $16 to buy right now. Very, very cheap to invest in Lego Star Wars battle packs. They're, they're not expensive in the slightest. So, very low barrier to entry, and I think that is awesome, and high desirability. Everyone likes army building. It's really cool, it's really fun, so therefore, battle packs, I always think, are a win. 
So yeah, I have a number of these battle packs actually right here. And uh, I think they're pretty fun. I think they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, we've also got some of these. These are old school, um, basically like, uh, how do I describe these? These are like, um, I don't know, promos, I guess, where it came with like a little card and stuff like that. They're not sealed, but they're um, like new condition. So these sell for a decent amount. I think they're kind of a fun collectible item. And I do rotate these on display, by the way. I have some little places where I'll put Lego sets and stuff like that. So I try and rotate these out of the boxes so that I do get to enjoy them and look at them and stuff like that. We've also got ourselves the Mandalorian battle pack right here. I think this is a great investment right now still. Came out, what, yeah, 2020, so it's still relatively new and relatively cheap. It's gone up in price a little bit, but I mean, people love Mandalorians, especially with the Mandalorian coming out. I, I think that this will be a set for ages, you know? Um, we've got some more Minecraft stuff here. Again, some stuff that I just didn't use in a video, so. Hey, turns into investments. And here's another one right here. Nice. I mean, good good figure variety in those. I don't expect them to go up a ton, but hopefully at least a little bit. Uh, this one's pretty cool, the armor. Um, now Paz Vizsla is getting a reprint and then I bet the armor comes back in some type of set. So that's super exclusive minifigures, but those two in particular are already pretty expensive and they're popular minifigs and the Mandalorian is as well. And it's a cool set, so I think it's a solid, a solid purchase. This is a set I would love to have a billion of. I only have like two or three of them, uh, but it's the TX-130T Republic Fighter Tank. We've got Mace Windu, not a very expensive figure, but then the 187th Legion. Really, really cool. I don't expect them to print a ton more sets coming up of these guys and these guys still don't have helmet holes so that's a big bonus right there as well also just a good set so i think that's a solid investment right there it's getting harder to find but i don't think it's technically retired yet there's my second one of those very nice uh then this is a cool set this is a more vintage set right here um which i found at uh half price books yeah it's from 2013 lord of the rings council of elrond really really cool <laughs> i love lord of the rings um i've been wanting to crack this open and build it for the longest time but at the same time it's such an old set and it's such pristine condition i can't bring myself to do it um and then finally for the top box here last one we've got is final duel 2. uh this is sealed still this is really really old yeah from 2002 so what is that um 21 years ago, this thing can drink legally in America. <laughs> but yeah, vintage sealed is always good if you can find it for cheap. Um, and I use it for videos. And I always think like, if I use a set for a video, it's even better of an investment. Um, but here, these are my most interesting investments to me. Um, this is more of my vintage stuff as well as a bit more of my sort of exclusive stuff in here. And I kind of want to do a separate video on this stuff. So we'll save this box for later, but let's go check out some of the other modern set collections I've got. All right, heading into my closet here is where we'll find some more of my Lego set collecting. These are some newer promos, and I think promos are always good investments. This is from this year's winter promo, Black Friday. I think it's called like Majesto's Tower or something like that. It's pretty cool. We've also got the little holiday set right there, which is pretty neat. And then right here, we have the Star Wars holiday set. Uh, pick this one up soon if you can, because it has exclusive minifigures in it that will probably never be reprinted, and it's fairly cheap. Down here, these are non-investment sets. So this is a set I'm gonna build. I'm super excited about this. I love Lion Knight's Castle, and I've wanted to build it since it came out. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Not an investment. These are also not investments. The, they are complete in box, um, but they're opened up. They're four videos, and I bring them back for videos every once in a while. Um, most of these actually used to be sealed, but I, again, wanted to open them up, experience it, and yeah. I also have like 20 Jin Ursos for a meme video I did a really long time ago, because no one wants that set, so. I guess that's an investment, but those are never gonna go up in value. 
Um, I've also got a Lego Friends set and like a Barnyard set here. It's for a video I'm working on in a bit, so technically not an investment, but I still have them sealed. Behind here we have more Jin Ursos, more complete in box sets that I've already built. More Jin Urso, more Jin Urso. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many Jin Urso. We go over here to uh, my laundry and more Jin Urso. I just kind of stacked them there, but yeah. <laughs> Up top this way, this set was for a Daily Bricks uh, giveaway video and no one claimed it. So be sure to check the description of those to see if you won. Uh, we do have a 501st Battle Pack, which is kind of fun. Um, the old version. Le Retro. And then this is a bigger investment. It's uh, Jabba's Palace from a while back. I love that set and uh, yeah, probably not gonna build it because I I already have built it. <laughs> so the second one was just for investing. And then right by my desk over here is a complete mess because whenever I make a video on the Daily Bricks channel, this turns into the messiest era, area known to man because I'm really bad about putting stuff back. But there are a few investments in here. I've got like 20 of these 332nd packs tucked away in some boxes here, as well as some more of the 501st ones. They're super cheap right now on Amazon. There's like an unlimited quantity, so you don't have to worry about like taking away from children or anything like that. Like just buy those away. Um, I've also got like, yeah, some VIP stuff. I don't think that ever really goes up in value. More Jin Urso there. Uh, this is mainly video stuff. So most of this is not really investments. It's anything that may or may not be opened for a video, but in a year, if I end up scrapping those video ideas, they might become investments. Also, I've got Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 running a time lapse right now. Um, so yeah, that's why it's so noisy here. And there's my cat. Yep. So basically, long story short, this is where I keep my primary investments besides a few in the closet. And I try not to ever really open these boxes unless I'm switching out my uh, displays to make them not get damaged, you know, and also to stop me from building them um, because I've built almost all of these sets already. And so I've had the experience, I've had fun. The only reason I'd build them again is because I'm really, really bored. And I'd rather go get a new set that I haven't built yet and keep these tucked away. Again, don't invest in Lego if you don't have the extra money to do it. Make sure your 401k is taken care of. Make sure you've got a little bit in the stock market or heck, high yield savings accounts right now are like almost at 5%. Put it in that. It is the safest thing at the moment. You know, it's not financial advice, but it's what I do. I put things in my 401k as well as my uh, savings account, stuff like that. And you're never too young to start. Um, and then once that is all taken care of and you want a little bit of money to see if it can grow in a physical collectible, go for Lego. I think it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. But again, it's up to the person. You have to be strong enough to not build these. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, checking out some of my Lego investments. Let me know if you want to see more and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.